people has really been a substitute. Yes, I would agree. And I think you raise an interesting point with the decline of traditional uh, sources of meaning, one of the main ones in, in all over the world being religion. You, you have seen the decline in traditional religion, but I wouldn't say that you've seen a decline in religious thinking, which I might also mm -hmm. say is a synonym to magical thinking. And what you've seen, especially on those who are traditionally uh, Democrat or left-leaning in the United States, while you've seen, again, a decline in church going, you've seen an increase in things like spiritu spirituality, you know, writ large, which includes things like tarot cards, you know, crystals, um, astrology, et cetera. And you've seen a rise in these things, which are certainly no less absurd, and if not more absurd, um, than any other set of religious beliefs and really lack usually the community ritual and meditative practices uh, that are some of the benefits uh, that come from organized religion. So again, you're right, we've seen a decline in meeting as it's traditionally established, but that hasn't led to an increase in rationality. I mean, what I would hope to see is uh, a civilization uh, that sets for itself a goal of increasing and expanding human knowledge and human freedom. Uh, and as opposed to human consumption. And I think you need to be explicit about that. Otherwise, inevitably, if there is no sort of uh, telos ar ar articulated by the people and, and the state that it rep they represent, then inevitably that vacuum is filled by the highest bidder. And these days, the highest bidders are companies like Google and Facebook and the advertisers uh, that they sell their uh, marketing reach to. So what you end up with in the absence of an articulated sort of goal is consumerism writ large and, and this narrative that the meaning of life is to satisfy yourself and the way to do that is through ever increasingly ever increasing quality consumption and again we, we can reference uh, the bible and uh, which i'm fond of doing even though I, I don't consider myself religious man cannot live on bread alone and, and that's what we're trying to trying to feed him only there's been a lot of criticism of the big social media platforms um, in Silicon Valley.